I didn't expect to be sobbing by the end of So Dear to My Heart. And I'm not going to say whether they were happy tears or sad tears, but I will say that the film started off like I wasn't going to enjoy it. In fact, I'd say the first half of the film, almost as much as the first two thirds, I just... I didn't care for it. I didn't hate it. It wasn't completely boring. But this is my kind of film. It's wholesome. It's sweet. It beautifully blends live action and animation. And yet, for whatever reason, it just it wasn't sticking with me. It just wasn't that engaging. But then the final third, I absolutely adored. But I don't want to say too much about that specifically, as I don't want to ruin it. But the point there is that if you start watching it and you don't love it, persevere because it definitely gets a lot better this is a disney film from 1948 the film itself is set in i think 1909 1908 uh, if i remember correctly it's directed by harold d schuster and hamilton luske who of course did the animation and we have a brilliant cast including bobby driscoll as uh, jerry jeremiah kincaid and he falls in love with a pet lamb this black lamb who is absolutely adorable and he trains the lamb and obviously wants to win prizes with the lamb and he begins to maybe forget what's really important and there's this beautiful beautiful speech by his grandmother who's played by beulah bondi and it's a wonderful speech about what's really important she let him keep this lamb because he fell in love with the lamb and they bonded and then they really have a brilliant bond but he begins to um, maybe not focus on what's as important. And again, I don't want to see too much more about that as we're creeping into the second half of the film. But I think it's lovely. There are quite a few wonderful speeches, actually. Um, really great monologues, if you like. Uh, very well written. Wonderful dialogue. Brilliant acting across the board. Jeremiah is such a lovely little character. And it's so lovely to see him bonding with this lamb and learning various lessons um, while also working hard to look after this lamb. Now, to be honest, none of that sounds interesting. And I think that's part of the problem. Once lessons have been learned and we get to have these brilliant speeches being delivered, that's when it started to be interesting. But to get to that point, we have to have obviously various obstacles for Jeremiah. And it's not that interesting leading up to it. I just think the events weren't that engaging. They weren't you know that thrilling or funny it's not a funny film it's definitely a very sweet film so that's kind of why i feel like it wasn't that interesting for the first half or so because not a lot happened but once it got to the main point of the messages being delivered that's when it really worked the animation is a little bit awkward i do like the animated sequences but i feel like they're too few to be able to say that this is a live action animation blend but they do happen occasionally, which for the time obviously would have been a fantastic novelty um, or relative novelty and would have been brilliant. But obviously when that technology is second to none nowadays, it's not that engaging. So for younger viewers or for the audience at the time, yeah, I can see it being a, a, a pull factor. But watching it now, I feel like they could have had more animation or none at all. It wouldn't have lost anything if there was no animation in it. So I didn't love the film from start to finish. I didn't think it was the best Disney film I've ever seen. But once it got going, once it finally found its feet, I thought it was pretty good. And the lamb is adorable. Or lambs, I'm not entirely sure if it was just one lamb playing the role. But certainly it's very cute regardless. It's worth watching if you are a fan of Disney films, if you like... um classic films from around the 40s there's definitely a lot in it that's worth watching it for but as i said it's just not quite as good as what i was, as what i'd hoped for as what i'd expected but worth a watch if there's something in it that catches your attention